According to Yahoo News, people are tapping into their 401ks to avoid foreclosure. I'm trying to stop saying OMG. I'm glad I found this article because it reminded me of something I wanted to talk about that I didn't get a chance to talk about, which I probably will talk about it on my financial channel called My Freedom Money, which is also entitled after my book that should be coming out, fingers crossed, 2025. For uh, people, why take you so long to write a book, girl? If you wrote a book, you would understand why it takes so long to write a book and to get it edited and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So this is, uh, the cover of the book, but I'm going to have it at, a matter of fact, I need to email her right now. Cause she emailed me this morning. I'm going to edit it to my freedom money and my channel, my financial, financial challenge channel, which is linked below is also called my uh, freedom money. Please be sure to subscribe uh, to that channel. I'm going to be doing more videos over there and I'm going to be talking more about over there. I shared a screenshot of an account, a public account that I started last year for public purposes, but I just decided to do something else with that. And I'll be doing some videos showing you how to invest. If I were you, how to open up an investment account and what to invest if I were you, and it is not financial advice. Okay. But I wanted to do this uh, video on my main channel, Janice Hilton, because there's something I really want to talk about that we really need to think about. It's Friday. Uh, good morning. I'm wearing my green for St. Patty's Day. If you don't know, I'm Irish, okay? I'm partially Irish. I'm a quarter Irish or something like that. <laughs> um, and I know it's the 17th. This is today's Friday, and I would wear my green on Friday if I went to work today. But you know, I wore my green yesterday. Did you see my picture on my community tab? Go over there, girl. Hot, 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 honey. My husband's like, baby, please make sure you have both of your rings on in that dress. I was like, I do. <laughs> Happy Friday to one and all. Welcome to all of our new cousins. Good morning. I absolutely love and adore you. Thank you for the, your love and support. Thank you for subs subscribing to my channel. Hopefully you are enjoying my content. You are blessed. Be sure to watch, share this out, help me to grow this channel. Thank you for those of you who have been picking up my number one best-selling book, 23 Tasks of Guys You Might Meet. Yes, it is my number one best-selling book. My next number one best-selling is The Naked Wife. If you have not, if you have not gotten your free sample, free ebook of dating is for data, it is on my blog, Janice Sultan Mentoring, and a free, I have two free samples of my house and profile course uh, on my blog. Also, also, in addition to that, the My House and Profile course begins April 6th. Be sure to sign up, email me. I am doing one-on-ones all weekends. I'm only doing one-on-ones all weekend. I have my whole weekend book to do my one-on-one. So I absolutely love you. Adore you, my darlings. Thank you so much. Let's go to this article according to Yahoo News. Reason why I'm glad I found this chair. I love Yahoo, Yahoo Finance. Um, if you don't know, I love to talk about finances. If I was not talking about dating and marriage, I would talk about finances, but why pick and choose? I can do them both. I love to talk about finances. I've always been financially savvy. I have been investing since I was 24 and I am, I was about to say 36. That's what somebody told me. I looked 35 yesterday. I am 46 now. So from 24 to 46, that is over 20 years. I have been investing in my investment account. Oh, it's to live for darlings. Okay. <laughs> so when I saw this article, I say, yes, that reminded me of what I wanted to talk about. So let's go ahead and read this article for a 1K hardship withdrawal surge to another record as high inflation stings. A record-breaking number of Americans are making emergency withdrawals from their 401k retirement plans in order to cover a financial hardship amid the ongoing inflation crisis, according to new data from Vanguard Group. So if you don't know what a 401k is, a 401k 
it technically replaced pension. Remember years and years and years and years ago, ago uh, companies used to offer pensions. So they figured out a way, we don't have to pay for your retirement. You can figure out a way to pay it. And so they came up with a 401k where they say, if you put in so much amount, we will match your money up to 5%, okay? So some places will say, we'll match uh, 5% or we'll match 6% of your income. So if you put 6% in, uh, we'll match we'll match 6%, which if your job do have a 401k, ma'am, sirs, please, I don't care if it's $10, put it in there so your company can match it. And so technically it replaced a lot of pensions uh, for most companies. For my companies, for where I work, we still have a pension and we have a 457. 457, they do not match. That is just in addition to your pension that you want to do a 457. So I've been investing in my 457 for about 20 years. Okay. So figure out, does your job have a 401k, 457? I don't care. You, I can't afford it. Yes, you can. You get your nails done every two weeks. You get your weave refreshed every month. Girl, you're driving a car you can't afford. Yes, you can. You can. And this is why you need to come on over to my freedom money so I can teach you how you can do it and invest for your future. Listen, those of you in your 30s and 40s, please stop depending on, on your own SSI. My husband received his SSI, what his SSI would be if he retired or stopped working. Y'all, it is not half of one of my husband's check. My husband's been a high earner his whole life. But even if my husband take his SSI at 70 years old, his monthly SSI payment will not, will not, will not be half of one of his paycheck after taxes, is after everything is the net. Did y'all hear me? My husband's been a high earner his whole life. His SSI statement came to say, Mr. Thompson, if you take your, these are the ages, if you take your SSI, this is how much you would get. If my husband stopped working at 70 years old, his SSI check will not be half of one of his checks, the net. And you know we get paid twice, twice a month. So for those of us in our 30s and 40s, please do not depend on Social Security. You can do your 401k if your job have it, your 457, and I'm going to teach you how to do a Roth IRA if you don't have one. Okay? So that's what the 401k is. It says nearly 3.6% of workers participating in employer-sponsored 401k plans made a so-called hardship withdrawal in 2023, according to Vanguard, which tracks about 5 million accounts. Vanguard, Vanguard is one of the investment brokers. So there's Vanguard, Fidelity, Schwab, TD, T, Schwab bought out TD. Okay, so now it's just Vanguard, Fidelity, and Schwab. I, my husband and I, we both have Vanguard for our for, for our Roth IRA. It is very old. The interface is terrible. People's been complaining for years. It's clanky, but Vanguard is the best. And so because it's our Roth IRA, it's just sitting over the year. I just, it's the money's just there. I don't log in. I don't look, really look at it. I log in once or twice a month to invest our money in our ETF. And then I just leave it. OK, because it's not for us to touch. Fidelity is the one I love Fidelity. I have our I have our taxable accounts on Fidelity. I have our kids account on Fidelity and I have the public account on Fidelity and I have my freedom money 
my freedom money right all day account on Fidelity. And so I'm in Fidelity all day looking at it. Well, not really looking at it, but just looking at what's going on, what's going up, what's going down. Okay, so that's what Vanguard is. Vanguard is a broker that tracks five million dollars, five million um 401k plans. That makes a major increase from the 2.8% rate recorded in 2022 and the pre-pandemic average of about 2%. It marks the highest level since Vanguard began tracking the date in 2004. Hardship withdrawals allow workers to tap their 401k for an immediate and heavy financial need. Individuals who make these types of withdrawals owe income tax on the money and could be hit with a 10% early withdrawal fee if they are under the age of 59 and a half, okay? So 401k, you're not supposed to take that money out until you're 59 and a half, except if they have a few exceptions for emergency, hardships, you're uh, buying a home, foreclosure, I think burial or something like that. They will allow you to take it out, but there are other things that you will be taxed in addition to your tax at your taxable uh, uh, amount in addition to 10%. So if you're paying tax at 25%, well, a lot of people's not paying tax at 25%, let's say 20 Let's say your taxable rate is 20%. You're going to be taxed 20% in addition to a 10%, so you're going to be taxed at 30%. If you take out money out of your 401k before you're 59 and a half, and if you don't have these emergency hardships that the government says, well, you know, it's a hardship. But you have to figure out what 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 those hardships are, okay? To me, personal, just leave it. Don't touch the money. Have your savings. However, penalty can be waived if workers provide adequate evidence that the money is being used for qualified hardships such as medical expenses, okay? So if it's, it's a hardship that is qualified, then uh, the penalty of 10% will not be, uh, <clears throat> oh, sorry will not be taxed. So if you take out the money after you're 59 and a half, then you will not have to pay the penalty, which is the 10%, but you still have to pay the your income tax rate, right? Because 401k is deferred, right? You pay taxes when you take it out. The 401k when uh, the, your job take it out, you are not taxed at that time when you take it out. So let's say you're making $55,000 and you put $5,000 a year in your 401k or your 457. For those years, you're only going to be taxed on $50,000 a year and not $55,000. But when you take the money out, whatever age that is, then you're going to pay taxes on it at your tax rate. Okay. You understand? Moving on, it says a person who takes a hardship withdrawal also cannot pay it back to their 401k and cannot roll that money into another retirement savings account. The increase in Americans tapping their 401k for emergencies purposes come as they confront stubbornly high inflation that has rapidly eroded workers' purchasing power. About 40% of individuals who dipped into their 401k last year did so to avoid foreclosure, up from about 36% in 2022, according to the report. So people are tapping into their 401k to avoid foreclosure. And this is what I wanted to talk about. We're, this is a recession and we're living inflation. I'm not talking about now. Remember in 2006, 2008, when the market crashed, the housing market crashed? 
Mm, remember that? And people who were making $25,000 a year was taking out mortgage for $450,000, $500,000. Then they're going to turn around and say, well, the bank gave it to me. And I'm like, yeah, but you knew you couldn't afford that house, didn't you? You knew you only made $25,000, $50,000 a year and you could not afford a, a three, four, five hundred thousand dollars account. So, e, uh, mortgage, even if the bank was giving it to you, you knew you could not afford it. But why did you take it out? You're greedy, number one. You're trying to keep up with the Joneses. You want something you can't have, you cannot afford it. But instead of you saying, nope, I can't afford it, the predator banks is giving it to you, and you foolishly sign on the dotted line. Well, the banks give it to me. Yeah, they, they don't care about you. They know that you can't afford it. They know it's only going to be a few years before you can't keep up with these mortgage payments. And then they're going to come back and get their house and resell it and make two or three times the money that you foolishly signed for. You knew you could not afford it. I did not want to know the bank made me do it. Yeah, you knew you were, you couldn't afford it. Predator bank. They don't, do you think these banks have your best interest at heart? Do you know they call us every week, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas, you got so much equity. Don't you want to take out a loan? No, we don't. No, we don't want to take out a loan. We almost done paying for this house. No, ma'am, let that money stay in there. And I shared how when we were looking for a house, my husband could afford a five, at that time, 2011, 2012, my husband could afford a five, over $500,000 house. You know what type of house I found on 250? Uh-huh. If you can afford this, you need to get this down here. Because if anything happens, lose jobs, sick, inflation, you're not stressing and stretching to pay up here. You're coasting right here. We're comfortable. We're like, okay, no, we can't afford. Okay, girl, I'm going to pray for you. People taking out these Six to seven thousand dollar cars they can't afford. We got one car. Granted, the cars I don't know how much my husband paid for that car. Fifty thousand. I don't know. One car we got. One American car truck for the family. So you know, ma'am, when you went and took up that house, took up that car. I remember when I was coming up in the church. I had my little car, and it was a prophetic movement that God say He gonna give you a new car. I'm like, okay, where's the car? Oh, I'm supposed to go down to the car place, run my credit, take out a, a $20,000, $30,000 car, and I have to make the monthly payment and pay full coverage on it. Okay, so it's God is not giving me a house, is he? A, a car, is he? Why should I give up my little car that I paid $2,500 for cash? I went to the credit union, pulled out my little savings out of the credit union, Bought my little car from that little white lady. And all I had to pay was liability on it. No, no, no. I need to stop driving that car because God said he going to give me a car and go take out a car I can't afford. Do you know how many young girls went and took cars out they couldn't afford? And I, after about six or seven months, they couldn't afford the payment. They had to return the car. Because you knew you couldn't afford it when you went on down there to that car place. You knew when you went to that bank and signed your name on that mortgage, you could not afford it. So you know what we need to do? Look into ourselves and be honest with us. This is why I want to do my freedom money, because we really need to have some honest conversations about money, especially in the black community. How we can walk around in three and four thousand dollar pair of sneakers, but we don't have three or four thousand dollars in our savings account. We don't have three thousand dollars, three or four hundred dollars in a in our kids' college fund. We don't have any emergency money. If there's an we live a check to pay, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how people do it. 
Mind you, that's not what I'm talking about now. We know we're living in inflation, right? We know a lot of those predatory mortgages, the, the bank took over, government bailed out the banks, and so on and so We're talking about that. We're living in a time of inflation. Things are extremely high and things are extremely expensive, extremely expensive. About 40% of individuals who dip into their 401k last year did sort of avoid foreclosure up from 36% in 2022. The Labor Department on Tuesday reported that the consumer price index, a broad measure of the price of everybody good, everyday good include, goods, including gasoline, groceries, and rent, rose 0.4% in February from previous month. Prices climbed 3.2% from the same time last year. Both of those figures came in higher than the 0 0.03 monthly increase and 3.1 headline gain recorded in January. Again, if you if your income is here, you need to live down here. So if you if your household income is a hundred thousand dollars, you need to live a fifty thousand dollar lifestyle. So no matter what comes, sickness, inflation, crash market, whatever, I'm good. We're good down here. We're good. Because you never know what's going to happen. High inflation has created severe financial pressure for most U.S. households, which are forced to pay more for everyday necessities like food and rent. The burden is disproportionately borne by low income Americans whose already stretched paychecks are heavily affected by price inflations. As they spend more on everyday goods, Americans are burning through their savings and are increasingly turning to credit cards to cover their those basic expenses. Credit card debts that surge to a record high at the end of December, according to recent New York federal reserve data. In the three-month period from October to December, total credit card debt rose to $1.3 trillion, an increase of $50 billion, or 4.6 from the previous quarter. According to the report, it marks the highest level on record in Fed date, data dating back to 2003 and the 10th consecutive annual increase. So y'all, inflation, you want to live your life that no matter what happens, you're good. No matter what happens, inflation, okay, that's okay, because I'm, I'm living right here. And I have all this space that if I need to move up a little bit, I'm still good. But we don't live like that. I saw another article that says more than half of Americans who have a $100,000 household have no savings. They don't save a penny. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how I can do it though. Okay, beloved, I love you. Let me know what you think about this. Remember to subscribe to My Freedom Money. I'm gonna be doing more videos over there. I am... Uh, uh, going to show you how to open an account on Fidelity. And, and I'm going to start a whole new investment portfolio because the public portfolio I have, I put three stocks in there that I, at the time I was, was not thinking, I forgot it's the public portfolio. And those three stocks really go up and down a lot. I mean, like one yesterday, it went up $500, okay? So I don't want you to think, oh, my portfolio is going to go up $500 every day. No, most days it's not like that. But it's because of those three stocks that I put in there. And um, so I want to start over a portfolio and so that you can see. But I have to wait till the market opens at 930 Eastern time, sell some of those stocks and transfer that money in the new account, Okay. I absolutely love you, my darlings. Be sure to check out those other videos I did about Simon and Portia. And, and, and email me, call me. Don't call me, girl. Don't call me. Email me for the My Husband Profile course. I absolutely love you, adore you. I talk to you later. Bye.